Is it okay to manipulate a bad guy into doing something so you can catch it on film and have evidence? Hi, Larry K, ShadowAnyone.com, and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. Generally speaking, it's not, but I'm going to give you an exception here today. Uh, now, what I'm talking about here is causing the subject of your investigation to do something that they, they might not normally do. And uh, generally speaking, this is considered unethical. Uh, anytime you're interacting with your subject, you have to really think, uh, what am I doing here? How will this look to the outside world? Am I really tricking this person or is this something that's legitimate? Maybe a pretext to gain information is legitimate, but I'll give you an example of something completely unethical. Uh, for example, if you're working uh, on a workers' comp case, you cannot set a big rock behind the person's car uh, and sit back and film when they come out and they discover this rock and when they lift it and move it so that they can get out of their, they can drive their car away, you can't do that. That's completely unethical. Uh, another example of the type of thing that's that generally is considered unethical it's done by uh, some detective agencies uh, but it's setting up uh, someone on an infidelity case in other words having a model or an operative or uh, just someone come up and approach uh, the subject of the investigation uh, come on to the subject uh, flirt with the subject and catch the subject acting inappropriately that is generally considered unethical. I know you see that type of thing on TV. Um, it may not be illegal, but most reputable agencies will not do that. In fact, I know uh, some state agencies if, or uh, some uh, state associations, if you want to be a member of that professional organization, you, you have to agree not to commit uh, that kind of uh, action. Now let me give you an example, and I learned this uh, in, in, out in the streets uh, with a bounty hunter, and it's kind of a clever uh, little thing, uh, but uh, we were watching a guy from a distance, and we weren't quite sure if this was our guy or not, and the bounty hunter uh, honks the horn uh, just once, and the subject turned and looked straight in the direction of the horn honk, didn't necessarily know it was us, but it gave us the opportunity to get a good face shot of the guy to see if this was our subject or not. And it ended up that uh, it was the subject. Uh, but this is the type of thing where a little action uh, did manipulate him. And, but I consider this to be uh, an ethical and uh, reasonable use. So the, really, it's the only exception I can think of to the rule. If you can think of others, uh, please feel free to post a comment. I'd, I'd love to figure out if there are others and, and let you know about them. This is Larry K, ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.